Hello there, Jerome here. So here are some side split progressions that you can apply in order to learn the full side split. Oh yeah. Let's get to the actual progressions. Now, if you can reach this distance, then you're already relatively flexible, at least if you can do this without an uncomfortable feeling. But you can do it, you can go even further by first trying to lean forward and stretching in different angles. So this is one of the progressions in that you should actually try and do some different angles of stretching and also lean backwards. So that's a training technique as well as a progression that you should be able to do. And this will stretch your muscles in different angles. Now, another progression that actually looks more like a side split is bending this leg and doing only a single side side split like this. So first of all, you will start in the center, center if you're not that flexible yet. And you can increase the progression by simply leaning more towards the foot that you are stretching. And of course you should do this for both sides. So basically you will sit down with one leg like so and the other will be flat on the floor as you would with a regular side split. Now you can also of course put your toes up depending on what kind of split that you want to do. The second progression involves a not completely extended side split. So instead of doing the single side split you will now bend your legs like this. So sit on, your, on the inner thigh, side of your thigh and simply sit down as far as you can. So what this does is it will take off some tension opposed to when you are fully extended and you can also stretch in different angles and try to let your groin touch the floor. It sounds silly but it is the best way I could describe it I think. So that is progression number two. And the last progression is perhaps not as much a progression as it is an exercise, namely a single leg overstretch so, or over split. So basically what you do is you will put your leg on an elevated object such as a chair or a tree and then you will stretch down or actually squat down with one leg so that this side is overstretched. And of course you can do this for both sides. So those were three progression exercises for the side split. I will make a front split variation as well, so stay tuned. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.